show my age for this last one. Um, first of all, welcome to the 2022-2023 Waverly Intermediate Spelling Bee. Um, we do have some changes in, in our uh, order here. We have number nine, 20, and 22 are not here. So nine, 20, and 22, we'll be taking those guys out. Our judges today, um, we're gonna recognize them real quick. Miss Suzanne Holderness, Mrs. Danica Howard, Miss Shannon Houston, and our clerk will be Miss Tiffany Gowan, and our pronouncer will be Miss Olivia Barlow today. So, um, first of all, if you if you do have a, a cell phone, if you don't mind putting it on uh, vibrate for right now, we'd appreciate that. Uh, we will um, take the top ten. We'll move on to the city spelling bee. Um, we are yet to have that date, so as soon as we get the date, we'll let you know. Uh, wanted to congratulate all the kids on uh, making it this far, qualifying. I know they're a little nervous, but I guarantee they'll be fine once they get up here. Um, and wish you guys good luck. So at this time, I'm going to go ahead and hand over to Miss Lark. All right, good morning, everyone. We are going to start with a practice round. So we are going to go in order by our numbers. So number one will come up first. Please, um, once you get up here, you can uh, say your name and go into the microphone. Hi, I'm Dixie Coleman, and I'm in fifth grade. All right. OK, so here's how the practice round is going to work. I'm going to ask you words. If you miss it, you will not get out. It's just for practice. Um, but if you do miss a word, once we actually get started, you'll hear the sound of a bell, okay? Just like that. And if you don't hear that bell, then you can return to your seat and we'll move on from there to the next person, okay? All right, speak as clear as you can so we can hear you and make sure we know you're spelling your word correctly. And then we will get started. Your practice word is cat. Cat. C A T. All right, number two, you can come on up. Jackson Bubba and Lona in fourth grade. Good. All right, your practice word is hug. H U G. All right, your practice word is bat. Bat. B A T. Your practice word is jump. Jump. J U M P. Hi, my name is Kenya. I'm in fourth grade. You can adjust the microphone. All right, your practice word is gap. G-A-P. Lucy Jones, fifth grade. Your practice word is red. Red, R-E-D, red. Travis and I'm from fourth grade. All right, your practice word is bug. Bug, B-U-G. I'm Georgia Tackett and I'm in fifth grade. Your practice word is swim. S-W-I-M. S -S 
swim. W and it. What did I just say? S W I N. Hi, I am Win Win, and I'm in fourth grade. All right, your practice word is cut. Cut. C U T. Your practice word is dog. D O G dog. My name is Bella Mercer and I'm in fourth grade. Your practice word is ball. Ball. B L B A L L. I believe I just said fifth grade. Your practice word is rat. 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 R A T. Caden Bartram, fifth grade. Your practice word is stop. S T O P, stop. I am Ethan Long from fourth grade. Your practice word is sit. Sit. S I T. Hello, I'm Emily Pendleton and I'm in fourth grade. Your practice word is sad. Sad. S I G H. I'm Amelia Atkins in fifth grade. Your practice word is hat. Hat, H-A-T. Hi, Jamie, I'm in fifth grade. Your practice word is rent. 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 Brooklyn Lombardi, fifth grade. Your practice word is crop. C R O P. Hi, I'm Elena Stephen Duncan. I'm in the fourth grade. I'm sorry. Your practice word is mop. Mop. M O P. Mop. Hi, I'm April Harris and I'm in fourth grade. Your practice word is bag. Bag, B-A-G. Your practice word is the. T H E. Hi, I'm Elijah Mace Jones, and uh, um, I'm in fourth grade. Your practice word is man. Man. M A N. Man. Your practice word is leg. Leg. L E G. Leg. Shane Turner, fifth grade. Your practice word is rug. R U G. Rug. My name is Lily Rachel and I'm in the fourth grade. Your practice word is boy. Boy, B-O-Y.
I'm Cohen Johnson in the fourth grade. Your practice word is ran. R A N, ran. Hi, my name is Bad Leffler. I'm in the fifth grade. Your practice word is sat. Sat. S A T. Sat. My name is Parker Williams, and I am in the fourth grade. Your practice word is can. Can. C A N. Can. Your practice word is fun. Fun. F-U-N. Fun. All right, that concludes our practice round. We are going to start with number one. Come on up. Make sure to speak clearly into the microphone. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is ears. Its parts of speech is plural noun. And the definition is the characteristics, organs of hearing and balance, each consisting in the typical mammal of sound collecting, sound collecting outer part, a sound transmitting middle part, and a sensory inner part. Ears. Ears. E A R. S, ears. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is hey. The part of speech is interjection. And the definition is used to call attention to insight or express interrogation, surprise or exultation, and with indefinite meaning in the chorus of a song. Hey. Hey, H-E-Y. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is doll. The part of speech is noun, and the definition is a small scale figure of a human being, as of a baby or child, used especially as a child's plaything. Doll. Doll. D-O-L-L. Doll. a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is need. The part of speech is noun and the definition is want of means of sustenance or poverty. Need. N-E-E-D. -E word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is came. The part of speech is verb and the definition is moved toward or away from something, passed from one point toward another, nearer or more central. Approach. Came. C-A-M-E. Your word is like. Like. L I K E. Like. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is look. The part of speech is verb. And the definition is to ascertain by the use of one's eyes. Look. L Look, L O O K, look.
This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is rice. The part of speech is noun. And the definition is an annual cereal grass widely cultivated in warm climates or a seed that is used for human food, for its hulls and other byproducts that are used to feed livestock, and for its straw that is used in making paper. Rice. R-I-C-E. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is cute. The part of speech is adjective and the definition is attractive or pretty, sometimes suggesting daintiness, fine features, deftness or delicacy. Cute. Cute. C-U-T-E. This part has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is nose. The part of speech is noun. And the definition is the part of the face on humans or other mammals that sticks out and that has nostrils. Nose. N-O-U-S, nose. Your word is smell. S-M-E-L-L, -L, smell. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is party. The part of speech is noun. And the definition is a social gathering or assembly of persons for entertainment, amusement, or pleasure. Party. P-A-R-T-Y. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is few. The part of speech is plural noun. And the definition is not many persons or things. Few. F-E-W, few. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is barked. The part of speech is verb. And the definition is emitted or uttered a characteristic short, loud, explosive cry of a dog. Barked. Barked. B A R K E D, barked. <coughs> Your word is cross. C R O P S, cross. Your word is shelf. S H E L F. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is pale. The part of speech is noun. And the definition is a cylindrical vessel for catching, holding, and carrying liquids or solids. Pale. Pale. P A I L. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is scars. The part of speech is plural noun. And the definition is marks left on the skin or an internal organ by new connective tissue that replaces tissue injured. Scars. S-C-A-R. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is blame. The part of speech is verb. And the definition is to express disapproval of or to find fault with. Blame. Blame. B-L-A-M-E. Blame.
Your word is trash. T-R-A-S-H. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is stairs. The part of speech is plural noun. And the definition is steps of a series for going up or down to a different level. Stairs. S-T-A-I-R-S. Your word is chores. C A O R E S. Chores. Your word is porch. Porch. P O R C H. Porch. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is spec. The part of speech is noun. And the definition is a tiny bit of something, a small piece, particle, or amount. Spec. S-P-E-C-K. Spec. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is washing. The part of speech is verb. And the definition is cleansing the body or especially the hands and face with water. Washing. Washing. W-A-S-H-I-N-G. Washing. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is sorry. The part of speech is adjective. And the definition is grieved or grieving over the loss of some good, feeling sadness, regret, or pain. Sorry. Sorry. S-O-R-R-Y. Sorry. has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is white. The part of speech is noun and the definition is of a color like that of a new snow or cream milk. White. W-H-I-T-E. White. Your word is phone. Phone. P H O N E. Phone. Your word is table. Table. T A B L E. Table. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is roots. The part of speech is plural noun. And the definition is the subterranean parts of a plant. Roots. R-O-O-T-S. Roots. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is copy. The part of speech is verb. And the definition is to attempt to resemble, to follow especially in manners or course of life. Copy. Copy. C-O-P-Y. Copy.
Your word is sheesh. S H E E S H. Your word is bog. B O L G. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is files. The part of speech is plural noun and the definition is collections of related data records. Files. F-I-L-E-S. Your word is only. Only. O N L Y. Only. Your word is clash. 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 C L A S H. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is feedback. The part of speech is noun and the definition is evaluative or corrective information communicated about an action, event, process, or product to the original source. Feedback. F E D B B A C K. Your word is forget. F O R G E T. Forget. Your word is swoop. Your word is greeting. G R E E T I N G. Your word is bandmates. B A N D M A T E S. Bandmates. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is curly. The part of speech is adjective. And the definition is twisting or tending to twist into coils or ringlets. Curling. Curling. C-U-R-L-I-N-G. Your word is funky. F-U-N-K-Y, funky. Your word is rare. R-A-R-E. Your word is blessings. Blessings, B-L-E-S-S. I N G S blessings. Your word is growling. Growling. G R O W L I N G growling. Your word is swept. S W E P T. Swept. Yeah.
Your word is fudge. F-U-D-G-E, -E, fudge. Your word is fasting. Your word is everyone. Everyone is the k e r y o n e l n e. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is another. The part of speech is adjective. And the definition is being one more in addition to one or a number of the same kind or additional. Another. A-N-O-T-H-E-R, another. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is model. The part of speech is noun, and the definition is a usually miniature, three-dimensional representation of something existing in nature or constructed or to be constructed. Model. Do we have a sentence? For her social studies assignment, Ohana made a model of the White House out of modeling clay, toothpicks, and tiny marshmallows. M A. A L D. Your word is frantic. Abilash made a frantic search through his backpack looking for his missing assignment. Frantic. F R a N T I C frantic. Your word is heavy. Heavy. H E A V Y. Heavy. Your word is lousy. Lousy. L O U S Y. Lousy. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is during. The part of speech is preposition, and the definition is at some point in the course of, during. Day, D-U-R-I-N-G, day. Your word is minute. Minute. M I N U T E. Minute. Your word is damaged. D A M G E. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is beetle. The part of speech is noun, 
and the definition is any of various insects with four wings, two of which are never used for flight, and a heavily armored body, and are sometimes pest crops. Beetle. Beetle. B E E T L E. Beetle. word has a homonym or it could be confused with another word. The word is quiet. The part of speech is adjective and the definition is making no noise or uproar, acting, moving, or resting in silence. Quiet. Q-U-I-T. This word has a homonym, or it could be confused with another word. The word is drought. The part of speech is noun, and the definition is any of various mostly freshwater fishes that are on the average much smaller than the typical salmons and are highly regarded for their attractive colorations, rich, well-flavored flesh, and gameness as an angling fish. Trout. Trout. T-R-O-U-T. Trout. Your word is landline. Landline, L-A-N-D-L-I-N-E, landline. This word has a homonym, or it could be confused with another word. The word is chase. The part of speech is verb. And the definition is to follow usually, rapidly, and intently. Chase. Chase. C-H-A-S-E. Your word is upbeat. Upbeat. U-P-B-E-A-T. Upbeat. Your word is sifting. S I F T. Well, I N G. Sifting. This word has a homonym, or it could be confused with another word. The part of oh, the word is tingle. The part of speech is verb, and the definition is to experience or feel a ringing singing, prickling, or thrilling sensation. Tingle. T-I-N-K-L-E. Your word is everlasting. Um, E-V-E-R-L-A-S-T-I-N-G, everlasting. Your word is awesome. A-W-S-O-M-E. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is saints. The part of speech is plural noun and the definition is People who are slightly or considerably more charitable, patient, self-denying, or virtuous than the average person. Saints. S-A-I-N-T-S. -S, saints. Your word is discarded. Discarded. D I S C A R D E D discarded. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is foster. 
the part of speech is the adjective, and the definition is affording, receiving, or sharing nourishment, upbringing, or parental care through not related by blood or legal ties. Foster. Foster. F-O-S-T-E-R. Your word is railings. Your word is spellbound. Spellbound. S-P-E-L-L-B-O-U-N-D. Spellbound. This word has a homonym or it could be confused with another word. The word is overseas. The part of speech is adverb, and the definition is beyond or across the oceans, abroad, overseas. O V E R S C A S. Your word is easily. E-A-S-I-L-Y, easily. Your word is gloomy. G-L-O-O-M-Y, gloomy. This word has a homonym, or it could be confused with another word. The word is nimble. The part of speech is adjective, and the definition is marked by quick, light movement. Agile. Nimble. Can you use it in a sentence? Ying's nimble fingers move quickly up and down the violin as he plays the piece. Nimble. N-I-M-B-L-E. Nimble. This word has a homonym, or it could be confused with another word. The word is inkling. The part of speech is noun, and the definition is a faint or slight suggestion or a hint. Inkling. Could you use it in a sentence, please? Veronica and Esteban played their prank so thoroughly that the victim didn't have the slightest inkling that there was a bucket of glitter hanging above her head. I N K L I N G. Inkling. Your word is snooty. Snooty. S N O U T I N G. Your word is sparrow. Sparrow. S P A R I N G. This word has a homonym, or it could be confused with another word. The word is beginning. The part of speech is verb, and the definition is performing or executing the first part of an action, activity, or procedure, or starting, beginning.
this word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is joggled. The part of speech is verb. And the definition is shook slightly, pushed suddenly, but slightly, so as to cause a shake or totter or jostle. Joggled. J O G G. Your word is whizzed. Can we tell that in the snow pictures? A bumblebee whizzed past us on its way to the lavender plants. W R C Z U D. Whizzed. Your word is cottonwood. C O T T O N W O O D. Cottonwood. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is pollen. The part of speech is verb. And the definition is transporting from one place to another in a vehicle. Pollen. H-A-U-L-I-N-G. Your word is slather. S-L-A-T-H-E-R. Your word is apartment. A P A R T M E N T. Apartment. Your word is archers. A R C H E R S. Archers. Your word is floral. F-L-O-U-R, floral. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is murals. The part of speech is plural noun. And the definition is paintings or other works applied to and made integral with wall surfaces. Murals. Murals. M-U-R-E-A-L-S. Murals. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The part of speech, oops, sorry. The word is arrows. The part of speech is plural noun, and the definition is missile weapon shot from a bow and usually consisting of a straight slender shaft that has a point or sharp head of stone or metal feathers or veins fastened near the butt and a knot to be fitted to a bowstring. Arrows. Arrows. A-R-R-O-W-S. Arrows. Your word is decide. Decide. D E S I D E. Decide. Your word is traditional. T R A D I O. Your word is adore.
adorable. Adorable. A D O R A L B L E. Your word is constant. C O N S T A N T. Your word is probably. P R O B A L L Y. Probably. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is balance. The part of speech is noun. And the definition is stability produced by even distribution of weight on each side of the vertical axis. Balance. B A L A N C E. Balance. All right, guys, how about we stand up and we move closer to the middle so there's less space between us? All right, very good. All right, yeah, come on up. Congratulations, you guys. You are the top 10 spellers that will be moving on. Okay? Now. Okay. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is beyond. The part of speech is preposition and the definition is greater than the grasp or power of beyond. Can you please take it in a sentence? Miss Morris makes sure to give her students work that is neither too easy nor beyond their abilities. Beyond. B E-Y-O-N-E-D-I. Your word is kneeling. Kneeling, N-E-A-L-I-N-G. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is bruise. The part of speech is noun. And the definition is an injury, especially one produced by a blow or collision that does not break the surface or injures. Bruise. B-R-U-S-E. Your word is Exciting. Exciting. E X C I T I N G. Exciting. Your word is actually. A C T U A A L. Next 
This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is bone. The part of speech is noun. And the definition is a healing ointment. Balm. Erica bought some lip balm to soothe her chapped lips. B-A-L-M. Balm. Your word is donkeys. Donkeys. D-O-N-K-E-Y-S. Donkeys. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is purchase. The part of speech is noun. And the definition is something obtained for a price in money or its equivalent. Purchase. P-U-R-C-H-A-S-E. Purchase. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is orca. The part of speech is noun. And the definition is a relatively small toothed whale that is black above with white underparts and a white oval shaped patches behind the eyes. Attains a length of 20 to 30 feet, typically hunts in groups, and preys chiefly on sea mammals. Orca. O C E A. Your word is python. Your word is tomorrow. Tomorrow. T-O-R-M-M-A-R-O-W. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is squinched. The part of speech is verb. And the definition is contorted, as the face, a signal or an involuntary sign, as of pain, squinched. Um, S-Q-U-I-T-C-H-E-D. Okay, we're down to our final two spellers. So the rules change a little bit. If one of you misses a word, the other speller has to spell that word correctly plus spell another word correctly. So do not leave the stage if you hear a bell right away, okay? Your word is torment. Torment. T-O-R-M-E-N-T. Your word is arrested. A R R E S T E D. Arrested. Your word is pangs. May I hear the word one more time? Pangs. May I have an, it in a sentence? Not 10 minutes after his second breakfast. Frodo was struck with pangs of hunger that took him right back to the kitchen for a snack. Pangs. P-A-I-N-S. Pangs. All right, just remain on the stage. All right. Your word is pangs.
Pangs, P-A-N-G-S. You have to spell one more word correctly, okay? This word has a homonym and can be confused with another word. The word is wrestle. The part of speech is verb, and the definition is to contend by grappling with and striving to trip or throw down an opponent. Wrestle. W-R-E-S-T-L-E. Good job. It, it's definitely not easy to get up here for any reason, so uh, these guys did it today, and uh, awful proud of all of them. So, how about another round of applause for all of them? <laughs> Remember the top ten. We'll move on to the city spelling bee, uh, but this time we are going to recognize our top three at the Waverly Intermediate Spelling Bee. So we will start with our third place winner, and it is Caden Bartram. In our second place, our runner-up is Elena Spangerberg. <laughs> and our Waverly Intermediate Spelling Bee Champion goes to Shane Turner. <laughs> okay, one more time for our champion. We do need our top 10 to stick around and see Mrs. Marquez here uh, in a minute to receive the words for the next spelling bee. And also, we are going to pick numbers uh, today before you take off. Okay? Wait a minute. You want to get the picture? Yeah, right, I would right like. Right here for Ken. Yeah, can, get the can, right here. can we get the top 10 and then do the yeah. top three too? Yeah. Okay. So let's have the top 10 uh, 